The one and only Le Pacious Bosse. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Can we rise up on our feet? Can we rise up on our feet? When Pastor Ito I go put AC for church, now what's in the happen be that? Some of us come from Mail and they see no their church. So we are not used to it. Some people, all they are thinking about is how to charge their phone. It is well. And it's not as if Pastor Ito wanted his church members to be comfortable when he put this ACO. When sister started coming to church in miniskirt, he counseled, they know here. He preached, they know here. He prayed, they know here. Now he put AC everywhere. So people are forced to wear long dress to church. Because when cold fire you, you yourself will now. So now people don't just wear long dress to church, they now carry rapa again. They are covering all the vital places. You don't have to preach too much. You just put AC. Everybody will behave. Hello. Ah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't understand quiet places. That is why I'm the anchor person for today. If you know that you know that you know that you are alive today, not of your own doing, but of the doing of the Lord. If you know that some people slept yesterday, but they are not awake today. If you can remember any of your age mates, that are, they were they graduated even the same time with you. They had the best results. They are nowhere to be found now. If you can remember anybody that started life with you, but you cannot find the person. If you at any point laid down on a sick bed, at the bed of languishing, and your life was on the line, and you were not even sure you would see the next day. When I say you should praise the Lord, you will not be praising the Lord as if you are doing God a favor. I have lied down on a sick bed before. Six months on a wheelchair. Traveled out of the country and brought back and the doctors in abroad doctors told me all we can do for you now is pray so i know the value of life i am telling you until you get to that point where your money is useless you are lying down they are attaching all the medical machine on your body and they cannot even guarantee that you will wake up the next morning i remember dr duwell telling me he said boss you need this drip on your body because once we remove this drip once we remove this drip you are disconnected from life and every time they are looking for my vein, it takes at least one hour to find my vein. They find vein, they find vein, they cannot find vein. We nurses stand by my bed and they pray, God, give us a vein. And today I'm alive. I'm standing. It's not of my own doing. I told God, lying down on the sick bed, I said, God, I don't want child anymore. I don't want husband anymore. I don't want house in Lekki anymore. I don't want to be a rich person anymore. I don't want to be the one that is the biggest celebrity in Nigeria anymore. I'm not competing in comedy industry anymore. I just want to be alive because the Bible says only the living can praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. You don't understand. My parents gave back to two kids. My brother and I. I am over 40. My father is in his 70s. I looked at my father and I said, Daddy, I'm ready to go. Don't try to keep me. This pain is too much. This suffering is too much. I'm ready to go. God will comfort you. And my father said to me, Don't you understand? At this age, I can't have another child. At this age, I can't give back to somebody that will take care of me. If you go now, you are not the one they are trying to kill. I am the one that they are trying to kill. Because I will not last 24 hours after you. So, but say, let me poison myself and go first. Because I refuse to see your dead body. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Then I told God. I said, God is not of me. It has nothing to do with me. Keep me alive that this man does not mourn. Keep me alive that this man does not mourn. And just like that, just like that, you don't understand. People who have malaria recover gradually. A sickness that did not have any medical definition. Just like that, just like that, I got up from the bed and I started to walk. And I started to walk. And I started to walk. And the next day after I was discharged, somebody came to the house and was asking my father, where is that your daughter that they said is dying? My father said she's the one talking outside. He said it's not possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you think you woke up on your own? You think you came?
come all the way from your house to this place on your own? Oh, you think Trinity has just sprang up from nowhere? It is of God. Grace is everything. If you are, if you are, by any way, sure that you are alive because of grace. You exist because of grace. Lift those hands together. Lift those hands up. In your own language. Just praise this God. Just praise this God. Don't praise him in one language that you don't understand. Don't speak for near right now. Don't speak grammar right now. Just praise this God. Praise him in the language that you understand. In the way that only you can praise him. Use words that are intimate between you and God for him. Use words that are intimate for him. The one who was and who is and who is to come. We bless your name, O oh God. The one that can save, the one that can heal, the one that can deliver, we bless you. It's not of it that will it, it's not of it that run it. It's of God that shows mercy. We bless you. We bless you, 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 oh God. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Put your hands together for Jesus. I'm a shouting person. One more time. Can you shout hallelujah? Now say with me. I am here to praise God. Heaven will hear my voice today. One more time. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. There was a song we used to sing in those days. I'm an old school Christian. It says, God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. He's so good all the time. God is good. If you believe God is good, come on, wave your hands to Jesus. He is good all the time. That's why you are here. Growing up, three pastors went on this retreat. And it was on the lake. It was on the river. And as they were going, they finished their stock after the first week. So they said one of them should cross the river to go and bring food from the other side. And they can do what Jesus did. So they started praying. One of them now walked on the water to the other side and brought back food. A week later, food had finished again. They now said, Pastor John, it's your turn to go and bring food. Pastor John prayed and prayed and prayed. As he put his leg in the water, he crossed the water. Ha -ha. This power is too much. After two weeks, food finished again. They now said, Brother Peter, it is your turn. Please, cross and go and bring food. Pastor Peter prayed, 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 prayed. As soon as he put his leg in the water, he went down. Uh -uh. Is it that I'm the one that is not anointed among this, the three of us? Uh -uh. He came back again and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. He put his leg in the water again. He started to sink. Uh -uh. God, don't forsake me at this point. Please, I must cross this river. As he put his leg the third time, he sank again. Where he was crying and shouting out to God, the first pastor told the second pastor, Pastor John, please tell this man where the stone is. Let him not come and kill himself. <laughs> Hello. True. But you know, that time when I was very, very big, and I decided that I was going to lose weight. It was not that I really wanted to lose weight on my own. No. It's not that I just looked and I decided that I, I want to lose weight. No, it was my condition. Yes, because I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. RMD, marry. I still never marry. I pray, I pray, I pray. There's but Elliot born twins, two times. I still never marry. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Even Adam so sure more they marry. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I come and call myself to family meeting. The pastor's boss said, 
Before whiskey, we marry under your nose and you still be here. <laughs> you need to lose this weight. Now, to lose the weight was a problem because every time I get to the gym, I know they see fat people for gym. The people I see in the gym are people like Pastor Ituan's wife. They are thin. What are they doing in the gym? They are thin like this. You see them? Fat people know they're there. Only me go come be like your Gozuna. You will now see them on treadmill. No sweating, no stress. Me, treadmill, three minutes. In fact, the painful part is that the first treadmill I climbed, the thing could not even, they said my weight was too much. The thing didn't move. It was a very painful experience for me. And I don't know whether you people have ever heard me tell the story of when I entered into a bank. As soon as I entered into the, that cave of the bank, the thing said, this facility is for only one person. Is that not enough to lose weight? So, treadmill now is not moving. I was now complaining that I don't want to go to gym again. My friend said, you have to go. But you know, they may advise you, don't go to gym, go to the swimming pool. I said, why? He said, because in the swimming pool, slim people don't go there. Because slim people sink, fat people float. I said, true. She said, yes, go and try it. Ah, anywhere that I can intimidate slim people, I will go. So it took me like four months. I was looking for swimwear. I could not find my size. When I finally found my size, like four people helped me to wear it. Then I strolled to the swimming area. When I got to the swimming pool section, everybody inside the pool started to come out. <laughs> Honestly, I thought they were coming out because they recognized me, you know, celebrity things. But as soon as I jumped in the water, I knew why they came out. Because when I landed in the water, all the water came out. Only me remaining inside. Is a swimming something. Put your hands together for Jesus. When we were young, we went to church. And the pastor was preaching. You know how some of these pastors preach with fire. So the pastor was preaching. The pastor said, anything you see in your dream will determine your destiny. If you sleep in your dream, it will affect you. If you eat in your dream, it will affect you. In fact, if you get married in your dream, it will affect you. Your dream is important. So anything you see in your dream, you need to let us know as quickly as possible so we can pray about it. My brother looked at me. He said, boss, I said, yes. He said, we're about to make money. I said, with this message, he said, watch me now. First night, around 2 a.m., my brother just shouted, Daddy, Daddy, they are giving me chocolate in my dream. My father said, chocolate, please don't collect it. Though. The next day, he entered market, all kinds of chocolate, baskets of chocolate. He said, eat it when you are awake. I said, this thing is working. The next day, around 2 a.m., me too, I had my own dream. Daddy! Daddy! Jeans, yo! They are giving me jeans in my dream. My father said, don't collect it, oh. He entered market the next day. Jeans gown, jeans dress, jeans boo-boo, jeans boo on the road, jeans everything. He said, take it. Wear it when you are awake. Don't wear it when you are sleeping. I said, correct. My brother and I looked at each other. We said, who is going to have a dream this night? We did not know how my mother was observing us. When we were still trying to decide our dream, we just heard my mother shout, Daddy, Daddy, oh, they are giving me this in my dream. Ha! This woman wants to spoil business. My father said, Don't collect it. He entered the market the next day, bought bags of this, boy, this, in your jacket, this, in your sequence, this, in all kinds of this. My father said, Wear this when you are awake. Don't wear it in your sleep. My brother said, This woman, she dreamt at 1 30. She thinks she's smart. We will show her, say, Now we create this game. We are going to dream today at 12. Exactly 11.48 p.m. We heard my mother shout. She was still dozing on the chair in the sitting room. She just shouted, Daddy, God, yo, God, they are giving me God in my dream. My father said, God, again, don't collect it, oh. Don't collect it. He entered market the next day. Mecca gold, Dubai gold, white gold, yellow gold, sterling gold, costume gold. He chattered everything. He said, wear it when you are awake. Don't wear it when you are sleeping. My brother and I decided that, no, we must show this woman. We are going to have our dream now at 11 p.m. Nothing will stop it. In fact, we are going to have twin dream together. As we were plotting the dream like this, 10.30, my mother shouted, Daddy, Daddy, oh, my father said, what is it? They are giving me Range Rover in my dream. Range Rover, my father said, collect it. Now who is holding you? 
we come and be having mumu dream. That is how she spoils that business. See, today we don't have business again. 